Hey guys, Weeby News here, and today we are back with more Persona 5. Yes, <laughs> Madarame is still in the background. But yeah, last time we uh, really just kind of dicked around again. <laughs> to be completely honest, I raised my guts a whole bunch, and I went to Big Bang Burger like five times. We also got to see Frodorame cry like a little bitch, just like the chalk art explains back there. And yeah, I unlocked a decent amount of confidants too, which felt pretty good. I pinned a comment about it, but yeah, I realized last time that I forgot to uh, post the picture of the Morgana plushie that I mentioned in the video. So here's a picture of him! Oh, he's so cute! And here's a picture of him with all of my other little weeaboo plushies. But yeah, I uh, really like him. I did spend quite a bit of money on it, but it was totally worth it. I get to like have him in my lap while I'm editing now, which is just so cute. <laughs> I really like uh, plushies a lot, so it was a good, good deal to me. But yeah, other than that, I don't really have uh, too, too terribly much to say. I've been um, kind of debating with myself on whether or not to go into Mementos, and I was looking at the tutorial a second ago too. Basically, I know the uh, bad weather helps out a lot in um, going to the cafes. You can get like the bonuses while studying and stuff like that, but it does also help out with Mementos. I couldn't really remember exactly what it was, but thankfully, in the tutorial, it tells you Mementos will be more dangerous. However, this is also a chance to get extra items. So yeah, you can get extra items, run into rare enemies, and there will also be a greater number of chests too, so there definitely is, you know, benefits to going on bad weather days as well. I think I'm doing okay on like potions and stuff if I do need to go in there. I'm just not 100% sure if um, I have enough uh, mission stockpiled to really uh, justify going there right now. I mostly just want to do it because I'm running kind of low on money and yeah, it does seem like I'm going to have to pay like 5,000 yen every time I hang out with uh, Kawakami, so it might be a good idea to uh, earn some cash while I'm uh, kind of dicking around some more. But yeah, firstly, I'm going to go ahead and double check that, um, oh wait, saw somebody. Was that Makoto maybe? Hey. We're all here. I've been looking for her and I never see her. I think that might have been her off in the corner. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, double check that um, I have enough mission stockpiled before I go in. I'm not really sure how many I need, but I assume like three or four would be good. I think I might have three, but I think it might be closer to like two. <laughs> so I'll check. You guys been checking the net? Things are getting pretty heated. Okay, let's see. View requests. Well, everyone's here. This is a good opportunity to sort through the Mementos target info we have. We'll start with this one first. Listen up. This intel is on a cowardly kid who carries out atrocities using bullies under his control. He's the one behind that guy, Takanashi, whose heart we changed before as well. Anyways, it seems like he's been blackmailing people with videos they don't want to be made public. Sure thing. Let's break that shitty bastard. It seems tough, but I think we can accomplish this if you say we can. There are still more. Next is... Listen up. This intel is on a sadistic student. It sounds like she's been treating a particular male student as a slave against his will. <laughs> Mishima. Yeah, yeah, it's Mishima. For example, she'll give him degrading orders or berate him in public. <sighs> so she's acting like a dominatrix to a guy who doesn't want that. That's horrible. I think we'll need to whip her heart instead, okay? Very well. Very well, I will go along with this. No objections, right? Yep. Uh, we're good to go if you're okay with it. That's a unanimous decision. Okay, all that's left now is to take down the target in mementos. Okay. Oh yeah, it is only two. Um, I don't know. I might wait for some more to pile up then if that's the case. Because I'm not doing like awesome on money right now, but I'm not doing like so terrible. Might just uh, wait a couple days in game before I do it. Could probably work at the flower shop actually now that I think about it. Huh? Is that all for today? You're not going to Mementos? What are you, a little scaredy cat? <laughs> meow meow. I take offense to that joke. Um, oh, there she is. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Uh, oh, what a coincidence! I saw you creeping back there, following me. Were you perhaps going to the scene of the crime? Um, um, this book is so good, I just can't stop reading it. I hope the next volume comes out soon. <laughs> I'll be watching you. Are you still gonna follow me after that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're still gonna follow me? <laughs> oh my god, what another coincidence! There is certainly a lot of people in Shibuya. I need to make sure I don't lose sight of... Oh, don't mind me. I was simply talking to myself. <laughs> you creepo. 
Yeah, I can't up with Ryuji, so I might just go ahead and try to boost up some of my other stats so I can uh, even them out a little bit more. Don't want to get uh, locked out of anything else, so let's try that. If I study here, I might be able to gain more knowledge. Nice. It might be empty since it's raining today. Let's go in. Oh. The rain's keeping the customers away. Welcome back. May I take your order? If you order coffee one more fucking time. Yeah, I'll get the steak. I got it. I'll be right back with your order. Mm. That's a lot to snack on while you're studying. The proportions are definitely grand. Nice. You sure look happy. Just savor the taste of grandma's kindness. Mm -hmm. You bet your ass I did. What up, kindness? All right. Yeah. Hey. Looks like your studying went well, too. <laughs> Think knowledge. I shouldn't be too far from ranking up. I right. feel like I've been upgrading it pretty pretty decently. We both knowledge has improved. Nice. I think you're really able to study since it wasn't that busy, huh? Yeah, another point. Point up. All knowledge right. has improved. Wanna head back? Oh, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. Seems like knowledge is uh, pretty important too since Kawakami was implying that I need to be doing good or else... Uh, I won't get to use some of the benefits she gives uh, me. You're back. What can I do today? Oh, dang, no confidants, really. Nothing? Nothing at all? Wow. Maybe I should have gone to Mementos. Not even Sojiro? Not even Daddy Sojiro? This is bullcrap. Next stop is entertainment. Complaints about the authenticity of artwork are flooding in from buyers after the Madarame debacle. It seems the scandal will continue to cause confusion in the art world for some time. The people who bought art for Madarame should have accepted the truth about him by now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I thought I'd get to hang out with Kawakami and like do all these other things, but nope, it looks like I'm only really able to upgrade my stats right now. I mean, I guess it's not so bad. I probably need to since I'm not really sure how messed up I am from uh, my mess ups with the calling card thing from before. Might do the beef bowl shop then, just so I can get some money. I don't think I've uh, raised my proficiency in a while either. If I work at the beef bowl shop, I might develop my proficiency. Oh. I think I only get like 3,000 yen, but yeah, I'm getting kind of low on money, so this might be the best thing to do. Time for work. All right, work hard and make that money. Let's go to work. Hey, wait. hey there are dirty plates still left on the table. And there are customers in front waiting to pay. Are you going to be okay? I'm used to it. Nice job. All right, good work. You can leave now since it's the end of your shift. This is your pay today. Thank you. Well, I hope you can keep it up. 3,600. Yeah, it seems like they didn't really give me a cutscene this time. Before, they always kind of gave me games and stuff. I guess because I already got the uh, up with a speech giving man. They're just like, yeah, whatever. This is just going to be generic from now on. Are you okay? You're all alone out there this whole time. The whole scene seemed pretty generic, too. But you still manage all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you are pretty proficient. <laughs> yeah. Up. Right. Weebo's proficiency has improved. Let's head back. Come on, let's leave. Getting close to 17%. <laughs> this site's still up, lol. I heard there's a forum about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, I've seen him on TV. A uh, him. He's famous, but he still rides a train like everyone else. Hey, isn't that that detective? The Phantom Thieves are kind of cool, huh? Oh, they're talking about the detective guy. The detective guy that uh, I think the people in uh, LeBlanc were talking about before as well. What do you think about that? Hey, that calling card sent to the Madarame exhibit, do you think? I was wondering about that. I think it's just like the one sent to Kamashita. People online are saying the Phantom Thieves are behind this. Well, that's not good. There's already a fan site with a bunch of requests posted on it. <laughs> it's so cool. I can't believe they're real life superheroes. 
If it's happened twice, it's probably gonna happen again. Can't wait to see who's next. That's right, taking over the world. One douchebag at a time. All right. So you have your social studies trip tomorrow. It's a good chance to think about your future. Be sure you're paying attention. You'd better not make a ruckus, am I clear? I'll reflect po it will reflect poorly on our school. There's a group going to a television studio this year, correct? News, here's a question for you. What's the answer? With the advent of the color TV, something else started appearing in color. Do you know what that is? Movies? <laughs> Dreams. <laughs> so true. Underwear, pencils. I mean, definitely movies, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, seriously? Dreams? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so weird. Um, really? I'm kind of curious to hear, hear why. Exactly. Exactly. How the hell did you know that? Before most people's dreams were in black and white. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Duh, movies were in color before TV. But research shows that once color broadcast became the norm, dreams started being mostly in color. What's fascinating is that people see the world in color regardless of TV's existence. It's strange that our dreams had been in black and white until TV's inception. That is pretty weird. That's cool, though. Well, we actually knew that. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice they say going. the same thing every day. <laughs> you do too, Morgana. You do too. Oh my god, you're so smart. Point up. I feel like knowledge takes right. a little bit longer to level up than the others. Maybe because you get so many more opportunities for it. In the future, if 3D televisions became normal and let us sense flavor, smell, and heat, then dreams might become indistinguishable from reality. That is pretty interesting, though. Incredible. Dreams of the flavor. I could get behind that. I do feel like sometimes I'll kind of, like, feel things. Or, like, smell things in dreams. Hey, hey. Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashito, right? Considering what happened with Suzui-san. Hmm? Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. Unbelievable. That's the... <laughs> unbelievable. That's the worst. So that's what he's been using Najima senpai for? Huh? Huh? Are we going to do his palace? It kind of seems like it with all, all this stuff, but I know it's got to be Anime Cartman next. I wouldn't be shocked if we did have to uh, steal the principal's heart at some point, though, too, because he seems pretty fucked up as well. Oh, yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? She acts all noble about it, too. Najima Senpai knew. Ugh. Man, everybody gossips so much at this school. Come on, on. Don't believe him. They said the same shit about you, probably. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And did any information arise about the case? I asked you to look into it. <sighs> nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is nothing more. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students of Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. What? A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some kind of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. This is no time for such problems. There is still a lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. No, but... But we received a qu request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you need to act on your own. What? Sir! Are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yeah, that's correct. It works out perfectly. Yeah, he is pushing like way, way too much responsibility onto her. My intentions have been borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you, pursue the, if you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd! I'm a high schooler! 
So let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore the students in trouble? <laughs> what about you, dude? You do nothing but sit on your fat butt and hide sexual harassment claims. Hi. Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. Oh yeah, gonna use the inferiority. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. <sighs> Poor Makoto. Yeah, the way this is being set up, it would seem like we were gonna infiltrate uh, the principal's heart. Then Makoto could get her super awesome badass powers. So what kind of person would be a bigger target than Madarame? Um, I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town? That's quite a big prerequisite. Don't we have any more specific ideas? Yeah, I guess the principal is kind of like a small fry compared to Monorame too, so probably wouldn't make much sense to take him down since we're all so obsessed with becoming fucking famous. I don't know, he definitely seems like he could uh, use some changing, that's for sure. Do we have any more specific ideas? A crooked politician, a famous celebrity, an evil overlord. <laughs> Dude, that ain't... <laughs> Dude, this ain't some kind of video game, but, um, chink. Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for that as we go. If only there was a big target just lying around for us. If only. Hey, hey Namara's field trip is to the TV station, isn't it? Maybe our next target will be a celebrity. That was the answer you were supposed to choose, you freaking dummy. You big fat dummy! The Mentos target. Oh, Yusuke! Are you finally gonna hang out with me, buddy? Or are you just gonna be like, Hey, we should go to Mementos. Why didn't you go last time? You haven't forgotten about the target Mementos, have you? We still haven't decided on our next big target. I'd like to take care of that request if it could double us training as well. We're gonna get our ass kicked when we get to the next palace, aren't we? It's alright with you. Would you like to go to Mementos? Oh yeah, we still haven't finished Mishima's request. If we're going to Mentos, we have everyone gather at the hideout. And I'll decide later. Man, do I still not have any any friends that want to hang out with me? Fuck you guys! <laughs> Damn you all! Wonder how I get a uh, Yusuke's confidant too. I saw him like walking around one time. Uh, I think it was uh, in the station somewhere. Actually, I think it was around here. There you are. When are you gonna give me your confidant? Hello. Ah, oh, Weibo, the station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? I came to see you. Nothing in particular. Oh, can I actually unlock it? I came to see you. I love you, man. You're so beautiful. And a little weird, but it's okay. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. After what happened with Madarame, I've come to realize the two-faced complex nature of mankind. People are difficult to handle. Makes for an interesting theme. Like somebody having a persona, you could say. Oh, I get it. That is why I intend on people watching here for quite some time. Please contact me if anything important comes up. Our friendship, man. Our friendship's important. I don't know, I haven't worked at the flower shop yet, so I guess I'll do that. You applied to work part-time at this flower shop, didn't you? You're already starting to work here. Working at the flower shop. Working at the flower shop will cost time to pass, but in addition to receiving money, it will improve your kindness. Need to up my charm too, I think. Working at the flower shop. <laughs> you don't have to say that a second time. Sometimes you'll receive an order for a bouquet. If you can make the bouquet they desire, you may receive more money than usual. Oh, cool. So what are you gonna do here today? All work. You can now quick travel to the flower shop. Yeah, it might be good to raise up some stats. I don't want to get locked out of anything in the future. Nice to meet you. I'm Hanasaki, the owner of the shop. I'll do everything. I'll do everything myself today, so you can just observe me and try to learn the ropes. Next. Well, let's begin. Hey. Oh, that apron suits you. You look like a nerd. Here's your pay for today. It's just standard wages. Three thousand two hundred. Ah, oh, that's less than the beef bowl shop. What a rip. Good work. Good work, Weebo Coon. Come back again when you have some time. I probably won't. How are you feeling? <laughs> Unless I get locked out again. Nice job, you worked pretty hard too. 
I bet doing this gift-making job has boosted your kindness. You're damn right it has. Point up. All right. Weibo's kindness has improved. Wanna head back? All right, we should head home. Ah, you're back. My phone's going off. You know we're going to that TV station tomorrow, yeah? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. You always hear about how celebrities are involved in all sorts of shady business. I haven't heard that. You are totally right. You're gonna do that when you become an actress on? Uh, hell yeah. I mean, uh, no. With that much money, they've probably got their fingers in all sorts of dirty business. Huh. That phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyways, we get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Ooh, maybe we're gonna be on TV. <laughs> that is all I care about, man. <laughs> Fuck changing people's hearts and stuff. If I get discovered, I'm leaving you losers behind. We'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be like for two seconds. Hmm, try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? I think I'll probably hang out with Sojuro. I feel like I've been kind of ignoring him and he's the only one available. He was Hyro. I don't think I have any Hyros on me. Nope, sure don't. Sure don't. Oh yeah, one of my mods said that uh, Matador is a really good Persona too. Good. He is kind of cute in his own little weird way. I know I say every every persona is cute, even the fucking weird ones, but I like you, Matador. You're adorable in your own creepy, creepy weird way. Yeah, let's go to the Velvet Room and I'll try to get a Hyro. Or a boss. What do I have to fuse for you? Oh, I thought I fused you already. Oh no, yeah, I bought you back. That's what it was. I bought him back because, uh, well, he had Frey, and he goes with, um, the other, uh, fusion that I wanted later on, too. Yeah, I mean, I guess he can inherit all of their good stuff, so... I guess he'll do it. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Choose the skills. Okay, um, I'll do wind, since you're strong in wind. Um, I'll do Frey, too, since I need that for that other fusion. Are you certain? Actually, no. <laughs> I change my mind every single time. I'll do this one. Will receive a fraction of Are you ready now? Yeah, let's do it. Girls, let us begin. Yeah, you guys were saying too. Um, I was a little bit confused on like uh, what equipping their persona does. It uh, increases the points you get when you hang out with them, so it makes uh, rank up more likely the next time. But just having the persona on you doesn't actually uh, increase the rank up for like the time that you're going to. Couldn't remember exactly. I'm Moribus. I'll become your mask and show you the truth of the future you want. <laughs> Little weird dance moves. <sighs> Kinda looks like he's dancing. Behold the Hierophant Coffin on his awakening. Alright. Moribus has learned a new skill. Mara Kunda. Okay, let's talk to you, Mishima. The best boy. The Phantom Thieves have finally made their big primetime debut. Info has started pouring into the fan site too. I'm gonna be a busy bee. <laughs> Swimming in all those chicks. Hey, do you remember that horrible person I texted you about? You're gonna change their heart, right? I believe if anyone can do it, it's the Phantom Thieves. Please, please take care of that girl who beats me up. It's not as hot as it sounds. It's not the S&M I want. Not at all. On Discovery, Town Detectives, we talk about Momachi Chinatown. A popular attraction for foodies. So many Chinese restaurants. Yes, high quality Chinese food is true perfection. Good smells are coming from all over this place. It's easy to find something great to eat here. No points. Let's talk to you guys. Have you been getting a lot of spam mail lately? How are they getting my information? Do you remember those cyber attack? Tens of thousands of people's personal information was leaked. Oh, right, I heard about those hackers. I hear they've been causing damage around the world. They act like they're fighting an unjust system, but they're still a problem to people like us. Thank you, the curry was delicious. Yeah, they've been talking about that a lot too, the hacking thing. The hacking, the detective, the crime organization, a little bit. I feel like I've actually heard the least about that, like just uh, walking around town. The cafe is open for a little while longer. What will you do? I can teach you the ropes. I feel like I can become closer with Sojuro thanks to the Hierophant Persona Ouroboros. 
I don't think my bond with the Sojourer will deepen just yet. What are you going to do? Will you help out the chief? Yep, I guess so. Right, Got no other choice. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Yeah, some of you guys were saying it might come in handy for like the final boss or something to hang out with Sojuro, so since he's the only one available and I saw that comment, it's like, yeah, that might be smarter, I guess, than just raising more stats. Sojuro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Yeah. I don't think my bond with Sojuro will deepen just yet. Damn. Thanks. Hey, thanks for helping out. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Oh, the station's so bright and colorful. I guess I was thinking more of like a broadcasting company rather than what looks to be like a game show or something. I guess because uh, all the field trips I did to uh, TV stations were always like News Channel 42 type of things. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. Whoa, no way. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding and... Huh. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Me. This is so interesting. So sleepy. Yeah, a bunch of you guys were saying too that um, a lot of his nice comments aren't actually nice. They're meant to be sarcastic. So basically, yeah, he'd be sarcastic saying this too, and they would just be like, Wow, me too, Weebo. You're so nice and understanding. Oh, Weebo. You're such a little stinker. Everyone knows that. Dumbasses. Chill, man. Hey, man, I didn't know that. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. <laughs> that would be a night. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Did this get any more obvious? <laughs> For real. That's what I was just thinking too, is like, the place where the scheduling is determined is also the place known as where the scheduling is determined. Doesn't seem all that informative. You're right. It's easy to understand. <laughs> so sleepy. Wow. He's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. God, this really is just like so obvious. Did you guys ever notice that they edit TV shows? <laughs> no way, this is all so surprising. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. How much longer does this go? <laughs> I am so dead. I swear I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> that guy not noticed the cat sticking out of my bag. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Famous newscaster. Hey, asshole. M my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there, you wanna be on TV? Dude, I feel like you're gonna eat your words once you see her acting skills. Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> eh, gross. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Eh. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's so, so creepy to just randomly hit on a high school girl like that. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. <laughs> Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. <laughs> Guy next to him. You can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. <laughs> Jeez. 
You're just jealous because we're friends with On. Damn it. This sucks. Oh, what a pain in the ass. This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against those long cables. I'm so pissed off. <laughs> yeah, that guy was a total douche. Are we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Oh, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. Oh, it's like a two-day school trip? I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> Just try it for one day, dude. Hey man, read my shirt. No mo rules. I ain't listening to nobody. Ever. Oh, being phantom thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. Oh, cute. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? Hmm. The round part is a baseball stadium. Then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. Oh, yeah. We haven't celebrated yet for uh, taking down Fraterame, too. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. <laughs> but, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Oh, that's so mean. Yeah, man, let's go to Dome Town and then just leave Morgana in the dust. Keep him in the bag the whole time. What a fucking loser. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. <laughs> I don't feel like that's a normal thing people say. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Aw, oh, poor Morgana. Oh, yeah, that guy. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Filming together? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Okay. Goro Akechi. Akechi? Yeah, I think... I was thinking he was the detective that they were talking about, like, in Café LeBlanc and stuff. Since he seemed to be related to Sai, and, like, they mentioned him being young and stuff, so... Seemed like it made sense. Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? <laughs> Why are you even talking to us, dude? <laughs> This seems like such a random encounter. Yeah, it seems kind of random for him to just approach us, though, and be like, Hey, just gonna talk for ten seconds. <laughs> Bye now. That's why they call me Pleasant Boy. I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? <laughs> you seem kind of weird. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> no matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That was weird. <laughs> Just spying on your conversation. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. <laughs> you don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. <laughs> My hair is way better than his, right, Weibo? Come on, let's get a dome town. It's better than use case, too, right? Um, pass. You can't pass, man. Theodobasha, a college town full of fun places, such as a well-weathered stadium. 
ultimate urban leisure, enjoy the arcades, spas, theme parks, and more. You'll become a date expert. All right. Ah, uh, more places to take future waifus to. You know information on a new hangout spot. Sui Dobuyashi Dome Town. He totally butchered that name. I know. You can always invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Yay, a new place. machines and get cake instead <laughs> not in your life <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna puke for real my stomach's churning this is why I spoke against it dude it's not fair using your cat hood as an excuse only at times like this hey. anyways are you guys feeling hungry how about some pancakes Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Well then. They're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's what Ryuji's for. <laughs> so true, so true. Oh. I guess I have to go to sleep. Aren't you just so fucking tired? That place was called Dome Town, right? Let's go again with someone else if you ever have free time. Let's call it a day and go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No other choice. Man, my blanket is horrible. Has it always been that bad? Doesn't even cover up my full body. Mr. Akechi's coming on. <laughs> All the girls. <laughs> 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 What the fuck, man? Why does nobody cheer for me like that when I walk on stage? <laughs> there was not a single guy among that cheering. Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. Some might call him Pleasant Boy. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I figured uh, it was uh, who those people were talking about in LeBlanc before. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Not a single guy. <laughs> Not a single guy among those screams. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. <laughs> Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? And don't lie. I bet you love having fangirls. Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. Oh, you're investigating that? There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? Hmm. If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Aw, oh, you like us. I thought he'd be like, Vigilante justice fucking sucks. Like, oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real. I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <laughs> <clears throat> I automatically hate him. Ryuji is kind of cold towards everybody at first, though. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Up oh, there it is. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. Yeah, but I mean, like, the justice system here is obviously fucked up. The people in power are fucked up. Overall, I think we're doing good. Helping the world. Because it seemed pretty fucked up beforehand. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. 
I could listen to you for days. <laughs> you have the most radiant career. <laughs> Are you a fangirl too? I could also just stare at your eyes all day, Akechi Kun. Maybe we could, you know, go to go to a boba tea place afterwards, talk for a little bit, hold hands. <laughs> Wait, what? I have to say though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Hmm. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. They just cheer at everything he says. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? Oh, what a bunch of I'm fucking idiots. That's higher than I was expecting. Huh. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Oh no, please. Please, Ryuji, don't raise your hand. I feel it coming, though. Because it's already, like, uh, boiling, I feel like. Oh no, they're gonna All ask right. me? Damn Let's it. Try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? They're just- <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh man! They're justice itself. They're necessary. They do more than the cops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should just go full-fledged like Light Yagami. They're the gods of the new world. How dare you, Akechi, and your Light Yagami looking ass. Say anything against us! I feel like these two options are better. I like this one. <laughs> Was that a fucking slight towards me? This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that. That is kind of like a slight towards him. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Not at all. They only target criminals. What do you think? Hmm. I'll do this one. I see. But how can you be so sure? <laughs> no reason at all. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. I mean, they do leave notes saying, you know, we're changing your heart because you're an asshole. So I feel like it's pretty obvious they only target criminals. What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. Hmm. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. Yeah. It seems like he's just worried that we might use whatever powers we have to do something worse, basically, I think. That I guess we'd get, like, power hungry and stuff? Kind of like Light and Death Note? I keep making Death Note comparisons. I'm sorry. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Yeah, I think that's what he's getting at. <laughs> it kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. Are we assholes? He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? I can't see what he's saying, but I feel like the system is so fucked up that right now, I feel like we're in the right. Oh no, oh, is he gonna come you. up to me? <laughs> you fucking embarrassed me on national television! I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. Huh. To paraphrase Hegel, Advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Okay. <laughs> My apologies. 
What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. I can see why you have fangirls. You're very charming. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? Hey, if you give me a confidant relationship, man. Totally. Fine by me. If the opportunity arises. Yeah, fine by me. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujin are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. He does seem uh, really against us so far, though, but it does seem like he joins us since he's on the cover art. I wonder what changes. Well then? Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. <laughs> There's probably a lot we can learn from him, though. Yeah, true. Gotta pull the L and light situation, you know? Get close to my enemy. Yeah, I guess being close to him could uh, help us figure out what's going on in the police investigation if they're getting any closer to us. But it definitely could uh, increase our suspicion levels, too, if we're close to him. It seems the Detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. Oh, seriously? He is giving me his confidant, but Yusuke still hasn't? What will I have to do, Yusuke, to make you love me? I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. Oh yeah, I guess he does. Yeah, I guess if he does uh, join our group, he is gonna start leading the police off of our trail. That is very helpful. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. It's that cute little boy toy. Oh, nice though. That's cool. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the justice persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Justice persona. I think I've seen that one around. La Justice! Goro Akechi, Justice, rank 1. All right. You've unlocked the Justice Confidants. Fusing personas of the Justice Arcana will now grant you experience due to Arcana Burst. Why do I even read that? It's the same thing every time. Oh, sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that Akechi? Dude, did you just form a confidant relationship with a pretty boy? Am I not good enough for you, man? Maybe if you didn't keep me locked out for like three whole in-game days, Ryuji, I wouldn't have to go talk to other boys. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Mm. What a boring field trip. We didn't find any worthwhile targets. Hey, but I found a husband, though. So that's all that matters. That a catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said just is pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had to say it on live TV, too. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if it were not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. That's kind of how I feel about it at the moment, too. I feel like right now we're pretty much in the right. We haven't killed anybody. We've only just changed people's hearts and people who were really fucked up to begin with, so... I don't know, I think it's worth it as of right now, but I guess I see what he was saying, too. I am living proof of that. Ah, uh, what a nice thing to say. <laughs> I love you, dude. Still, was what Akechi-kun said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why do you gotta bring that up now? We can't doubt anything we do, ever. I'm gonna take the Kaido approach. I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? It doesn't seem, doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are Phantom Thieves on. I don't know. I think it's worth it so far. <laughs> it's not like Death Note where it's like killing people, you know. But I guess it is kind of similar in the sense that it's like we're completely just like changing their personalities. But I do see uh, what he was trying to say. Like what gives us the right. But it doesn't seem like the cops are doing anything. The whole system's corrupt. I don't know. Right now I think we're in the right. I don't ever want to forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Yeah, I agree with that. 
Kamashita too. We weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but... What do you think, Weibo? Are we being selfish? I can't deny that. We're helping people. Akechi makes me so mad! His stupid, beautiful face and his stupid fangirls. I feel like the fame that Ryuji kind of talks about is a little selfish. I mean, I guess there are some aspects of it that are kind of selfish, but I feel like it weighs out. We're helping people. I guess I can't really think of any other way. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. He was just so cute, you know, I started to kind of wonder a little bit. Hey, wait, what? I mean, um, the justice thing. Just you watch, Akechi. Someday you're gonna totally see who is right. When you join our group. Okay, let's stop talking about this for now. Uh, Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. I can't believe I got his uh, confidant before uh, Makoto's, too. Dang, that is kind of crazy. Literally just met him. He is a pleasant boy. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Mishima! God, I'm furious! You heard that Akechi... You heard what a catch <laughs> I fucking love Mishima. I don't know. He's just so cute. <laughs> just the idea of him being like mad. It's just so cute. I don't know. Everything everything Mishima does to me is just cute. You heard what a catchy said, right news? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves are criminals? As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm going to show a catchy how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. I'm gonna put so much propaganda on the website. You just wait, Weibo. We'll prove him wrong. Great idea. Why is he of all people getting angry about this? He's a weird guy. Anyways, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. <laughs> oh yes, if you think the Phantom Thieves are sexier than that Akechi guy. If the poll goes in Akechi's favor. Yeah, you know, guys, I might have to leave you. It seems like there's more of a chance I'll get laid if I start siding with Akechi, so... Uh, bye! Oh, Mishima. The best boy. Examine TV. Time for a special edition of Discovery Town Detectives! On these regular broadcast specials, we share limited edition items that are all the rage. Today, we're going to talk about Soothing Soba, the dish that'll help you endure the summer heat. It's on sale now in convenience stores around Tokyo, and it's expected to sell out fast. It even puts some Chinese food to shame. It's surprising you can buy it at convenience stores. I think I gave you a different voice last time. Uh, Poondent. Poon? Poondent? Oh, I can rank up with a uh, Kawakami. Nice. Probably do that then. Are you thinking about calling Kawakami? Yeah, let's call her. Hi. Thank you for your call. I'm all your... Okay, it's just you. Uh, you know, I've been hearing Shibuya getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? Oh, that's sweet. Looking out for me. It'll cost you 5,000 yen to request me, but this time I'll be sure to do an extra good job. I feel like my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger soon. Hey! Fucking expensive. It'll cost you 5,000 yen. Are you gonna call Kawakami over? Yep, guess so. What? You're really going to request me? Again? Okay, I'll be heading right over then. It'll be helpful if you clean up... Um, maybe I should give you a deeper voice. It'll be helpful if you clean up a bit before I get there, so it'll be easier for me. Heart. Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of you coming over? But pretty much. Heart. Um... I love cleaning shabby. I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? It does. <laughs> I feel nothing. I'll tell your boss. I feel nothing. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I should have been nice. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. I'm so used to just choosing the funny stuff. I forgot that uh, you get more points if you choose the nice answers. Ah, uh, balls. I see your heart must be made of steel. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I leave your room a bit messy, right? This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chick feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, 
I'm exhausted. Huh. I'm not allowing to work overtime during weekends, so I'll rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. Oh, that's sweet. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. Hey man, you're giving me free stuff, so... Gotta do what I gotta do. She does seem uh, pretty sweet, though. After uh, learning about the maid stuff, I can kind of see why she came off as being uh, cold before. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? I can't say I wasn't. Absolutely not. What kind of weird things? Okay, I should definitely stick to trying to make her happy. Yeah. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I'll try not to get too involved with my students, so... Yawn, I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. Or twenty. Or an hour. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. And go into mementos. You need money? What's it for? Um... Well, um... You know... It's for my little sister. Oh. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, no. Seems like a... I don't know. Ominous time to get a phone call right after you say that. I feel like that's never a good sign in like games or movies or TV shows or anything. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week, I... No, yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh... Oh, wrong number. Uh... That's a lie. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? <laughs> no. Oh, dang, that's a lot of money. Dang, that sucks. Wait, never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. And don't spend it all on maid service, okay? Can't make any promises. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. <laughs> oh, literally. <laughs> Are you scolding me? This is all for you. I requested you. Um, would she like it if I said that? It would show I'm caring for her and all that crap. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. I don't think she liked it. Damn, I'm not very good at helping you. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me. Good, I ranked up anyways, even though I kind of sucked at answering questions. Rank two. All right. Your Timberance confidant is ranked, is increased to rank two. Now I get more experience. Oh man, yeah. I kind of thought I remembered it being a uh, rank three that you got the good stuff. Sigh, three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, master. Okay. Poor thing. Kawakami left. Um, do you believe in the Phantom Thieves? Oh, I think the question's still the same. I was thinking it would have changed at this time. You're watching the broadcast? Or were you watching the broadcast? So the Phantom Thieves were the bad guys? I guess now that you mention it. I felt that way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. Oh, you guys are just gonna believe what Pretty Boy says. Are the Phantom Thieves just? Oh, it actually increased this time. That's cool. I guess they might uh, keep changing the question as the game goes on. And as uh, Mishima gets more and more insecure. Heavily made up woman. Did you catch like any of that student? Did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are super lame. <laughs> oh, on the talk show? It was simply dreadful. How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? 
That child is a phony. There's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real, and worse, that this detective is amazing. So they hate both of us. <laughs> children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. You know, I've seen worse. <sighs> Looks like people still don't think we're real. It is going to be interesting to see, you know, at the end when everybody's completely so believing in us. I can't believe we were on TV yesterday with a catchy coon. It was like a dream come true. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like Detective Prince. And he's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool. I hope he heard me screaming. We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy coon. I was so nervous. I should have gone for it. That's not weird, right? He was really working that <laughs> He was really working that uniform and without seeing seeming like a snob. He's a natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him is so amazing. Oh, he's got that tragic backstory working for him. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. Isn't it a game to This isn't a game to him. It says who? It does seem like uh, even though he doesn't like us very much, it is going to uh, raise people's belief in us since uh, he seems to be very influential when it comes to uh, younger audiences for sure. Like what those women were saying on the train. I see, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. Oh. I will say, I love that he hates media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. Maybe his dad's gonna be fucked up and that's how we get him to come to our side, go to his palace and take him down and then Akechi can be all like, fuck you, dad. They said he was like an orphan though too, so I guess it's like his stepdad. People say he's so good that he's made enemies the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're going to air it again tonight. Oh, we're gonna be famous. I'll always be remembered as generic girl screaming in the background number five. What a dream. I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Why someone would steal something like a heart which can't be turned into money is beyond me. <laughs> All I care about is money. If I were a Phantom Thief, I wouldn't go after hearts or works of art. I'd go after gold, baby. So I could finally quit this godforsaken job. The value of gold has been high since ancient times, and there has never been more stable resource. You. Now then, new son. Now, oh, new son. Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by humanity over the course of history? Three Olympic-sized pools, three giant periods of Giza, three Lake Biwas? I don't know what Lake Biwa is. I am so happy I installed the network. <laughs> oh man, seems a lot more reliable and quicker than Google too. I kind of think it's the pyramid one, but let's check. Uh, nope, three Olympic-sized pools. That was my second guess. Correct. Correct. Surprisingly little, don't you think? That rarity is what drives its value. Well, oh my god, he got it right. He's so smart. Oh my god, you're so smart. Yeah, you know it. Smart enough to go to rank three? Not quite yet. Weibo's knowledge has improved. Incidentally, they say that 16% of the world's gold is in Japan. Was your first thought the Tokugawa clan's buried gold? It's actually in discarded home electronics. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. What did you say? Humph, you can't measure the value of a treasure with money. It all has to do with stealing people's hearts and making them become nice people. That's where the value lies. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was oh, some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. <laughs> I really hope nobody's listening in on you screaming about us being the Phantom Thieves right now. Ow. You're being way too loud. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Maybe don't admit to being a Phantom Thief though while yelling Ryuji. Hey. Really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We 
can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. Don't be a wimp, wimp. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Oh yeah, the black mask guy. I think it could be a catchy, but I don't know, like it seems too obvious. I feel like the only reason I think that too is because he's like the only character that really fits the criteria, you know, of uh, being the person since he just was introduced. Huh. The hell? <laughs> I heard everything. You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. I know you're a nice person deep down, Makoto, but you sound kind of creepy when you talk like that. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Oh yeah, Ahn thinks that she knew about uh, the sexual harassment too. So is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be when we see the cat fight? Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, <laughs> you know what it means, bitch. You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Damn. Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Damn. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? I do kind of feel bad for Makoto. She's in kind of a shitty position right now. I hope she joins us soon. It does seem like it might take a little while for her to get on our side, though. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Aw. Aw, poor thing. <laughs> that makes me sad. Join us, Makoto. I know we're getting close to it. We gotta be. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. Yeah, rip. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. Yeah, he seems very influential. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. I guess I would probably be skeptical about it if I was like, you know, just a person in Japan. I don't know, I feel like I can understand where Akechi's coming from, like not knowing the people in the group that are, you know, changing other people's hearts, but I feel like knowing these guys, they seem, you know, like for the most part, they're in it for the right reasons. Ryuji said a couple of like, uh, Man, dude, I can't wait to be fucking famous type of things, but uh, for the most part, they seem like good people. I don't know if like later the power will get to us and we'll start being more distorted, but I kind of doubt it at the same- I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. I just sort of doubt it because uh, it seemed like uh, Morgana was implying that we can't really get too terribly distorted if we have like a persona already since we're like in control of our emotions or something along those lines. So I'm not really sure that that'll be the case either. I'm definitely on our side for right now, but I do think if I didn't know like uh, who was doing it, I would probably be more so on a catchy side. Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us too. And if I didn't know like the whole story and stuff too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Luggage? Uh oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. Oh, rip. Is he gonna move in with On, I guess? You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. 
No true art could come from such a place. <laughs> I'll be moving in at five on. Oh wait, what? What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki Sons. I mean Aunt's house. Yay, using first names. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. <laughs> I don't feel like he asked though beforehand. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. Oh. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. Oh. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? What about Ryuji's place? What about a manga cafe? <laughs> Just sleep here, dude, out on the street, like every other artist that Madarame screwed over. Ryuji's place. It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Yeah. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Oh, nice. Sleepovers. And confidant rankings, right, Yusuke? You'll do it with me finally, right? <laughs> Wrong. Why are you the one calling the shots? He's gonna start sleeping over at my house every night. No, I don't feel like it. Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. You can't really be picky right now, dude. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <laughs> what was that? Ah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so mad. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? Oh, nice. This guy has really helped us a lot lately. But you're the ones doing all the helping. Ah. Uh. No, really, he's been great. Believe in me, damn it. Believe in me, Dad. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. Yeah. You're helping, though. <laughs> wow, it's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. <laughs> so deep. Come on, dude. No need to be deep. It's just coffee. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. cruel and unusual punishment <laughs> not a coffee drinker I see <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either these are your friends yeah go on and take them up to your room no need to stay down here hey the pretty one's gonna be moving in too just so you know Ooh, I want to see wait I'm not moving in like I said the pretty one hey fuck you it's only an attic oh man Nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. Cute. It's nice to see everybody together. So you're a... Uh... Oh, no. He is a ladies' man, so I hope he doesn't hit on her. That'd be really weird. Please don't do it, Sojuro. I like you right now. On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. Uh, no. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! I hope you're trying to set her up with me rather than with yourself. 
Don't be weird, Sojuro, please. Go on. Oh no, he's got that look though. Thank you for the coffee. I don't know, he's got that like flirty look on. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Looking at that ass. Oh god. <laughs> Sweet girl. Okay. That was a good comment though. Not anything weird. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh yeah, I wonder if you can decorate it, uh, Yusuke, and make it look nice. Oh. See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. <laughs> what? Well, sit wherever you'd like. There's only like two places to sit, but you know. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. Yeah. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. Yeah. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Okay, so no wonder we take down um, somebody who's like a well-known criminal. It's probably to partially just make us look better. Because <laughs> I mean like uh, Kamashita and Monorame were like doing stuff behind the scenes, but they weren't known for being criminals beforehand. So I guess it would be uh, less controversial for us to uh, change somebody who um, is like this anime Cartman guy, who I'm guessing the police can't get to because Sai mentioned he was like really protected. Oh yeah, I guess it would be like a uh, extra good then. Cause yeah, it's like we're taking down somebody who's known for being bad. So it makes us look, you know, right and justice-like. And then we're also taking somebody down that I'm assuming the police just can't even touch because he's too protected, which makes us look better than the police. Okay, I see. I see why we chose that guy now. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? We need to make ourselves look good. What about Mishima's sight? What about the news? Let's get, let's sleep on it. The news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. Too much of a jump. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. I guess that's true too. I guess because he's so protected, it would be obvious that it was us that did it and not the police. Damn it. I'm never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. <laughs> His stomach. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, dang. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Yeah. Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. Yeah, I really like hot pot as well. I eat that a lot with uh, my boyfriend and his family. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Uh, extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Fine by me. Hot pot in this weather. We'll finish it with udon. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Well, we'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. Yeah. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Do you like seeing the parties that we all have together? It's pretty cute. Why are you talking to me? Go get the stove and the pot. 
That Akechi guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. But let's forget about him for now and just focus on having fun. Come on, we need to prepare. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there was some other stuff I could click on. I kind of wanted to. I'll talk to you. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. <laughs> Am I invited? I'm looking forward to it. As you should, food always tastes better with friends. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. She is, despite her flashy looks. Why do you say that? I'm a little worried. I don't know. I'm a little sketched out. Sojuro seems nice, but I know he's like a player kind of too, I guess. Or it's been kind of implying that he's like a ladies man and all that. Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful. F <laughs> I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask since you're already freeloading. Ah, oh, that is nice. Okay, okay, that makes me feel better. Anyways, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Curry pot. There's a huge pot of curry here. This seems to be the store's specialty. Kitchen. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. Any day now. <laughs> Any day now. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, oh, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you t so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, oh, on yeah. to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the Phantom Thieves. It's the high school detective Goro Akechi. This taste a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. Huh, it is kind of interesting. Their parents aren't around at all. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. Oh no, is she gonna see me on TV being like, The Phantom Thieves are fucking awesome, man. They do more than the cops. Got em. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Yeah, I can see where he's coming from, but I don't know. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Yeah, not technically, but I can see what he's saying. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Yeah. You're coming to our side, Makoto. I'm excited. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Yeah, I do feel bad for her. It does seem like she gets a lot of pressure, especially since her sister seems to be so successful. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. At least it doesn't seem like there's a competition from Sai's side, at least. Seems like she's very much willing to help. Sorry. Huh. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Yay! Ah, oh, good. Man, it felt like it was taking her a while to kind of budge. I'm excited to see it finally happening. I guess now it'll be Akechi that we have to get through to. Even though he already fucking loves me. I can't eat another bite. That was 
was delicious, Lady Anne. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? <laughs> They're trying to look at her underwear or something? <laughs> what was that? That was so strange. We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? I guess maybe they were just uh, judging her for sleeping, I guess? I don't know. Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? Damn. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Oh yeah, we never really got a whole lot of backstory on that. Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. Yeah, always kind of an outcast, I guess. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. <laughs> so you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. I think I've pretty much heard a lot of it from his uh, confidant uh, meetup things. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I guess now we'll get the full story, because I've gotten kind of like glimpses of it, I guess. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. Yeah, I couldn't tell if him and his mom were still close or not. I kind of thought I remembered him saying that uh, there was some sort of animosity there. On the way home, she... Uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, I can really tell because it seemed like he loved his mom, but there was also something kind of like weird between them. I guess he just feels guilty for uh, everything. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. <laughs> Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Yeah, but everybody hates you, so... Oh, cool, we get to hear more about my story, too. Damn brat! I'll sue! <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I saw but you guys in the comments section, like, uh, changing that line. Damn sue, all brat! Damn all brat sue! <laughs> I don't know why, I thought that was so funny. If you keep this up, it's good to see we're uh, getting more uh, exposition with this, though, because it was, it has been kind of like a vaguely glossed over every time. Then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? Oh. All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But the money. I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey. Make this statement to the cops. Okay, so he blackmailed her, I guess, into blaming it on me. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense as to why I got such a bad reputation. If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Okay, so yeah, she must work with him or something. This is bullshit. You fell on your own. Shut up. You're done for. What a dick. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. I don't even know who you are. Excuse me, folks. 
We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. That young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Damn it! Ah, oh, dang, that does suck. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Damn. Everybody is so corrupt here. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. Yeah, that sucks. It does make a lot more sense, though, now. I thought that, uh, I guess they found us, and then the he just talked the police into basically changing the story. I didn't know that uh, it was her that changed the story. It seemed like they had some sort of relation since he was like, I'll tell them about the money. So vague, as always. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. For real. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't know. I don't remember. It was pretty dark. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. Okay, I guess he yeah, didn't recognize him. Yeah, yeah, it didn't seem like he really, like, recognized him, recognized him when he saw him in the elevator. He just had one of those, like, anime flashback scenes where it goes back and you're like, oh, oh my god, so dark, lost memories, coming back. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! Yeah. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! That's why we're the kids next door! Isn't that right, guys? Sometimes it does kind of feel like that with, like, Man, fuck adults! They all suck! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Just keep doing what you're doing and eventually people will see it. No reason to worry so much about what people think about us right now. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? I'm trying to sleep. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Aw. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Yeah, it is true. We all are outcasts. Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Aw, oh, poor Morgana. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. <laughs> so true. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? Then why haven't we gone to Mementos in fucking forever, Weibo? Um... I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Huh. That is kind of interesting. I wonder if Morgana will be somebody that I guess we're all familiar with. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. <laughs> true, true, Morgana. Always trying to put up a badass act. 
All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Fine. Yeah, leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. 7 p.m. already? Don't you guys all think you should? Don't, don't say it. Go to sleep! Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> nice. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Oh. Huh. Well, good night, Morgana. <laughs> Only gonna say good night to Morgana. My husband, do. Did you guys see that? Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. No. Oh. I can't let her get taken by someone else. <laughs> Poor thing. Really don't think it's gonna work out for you, Morgana. But you're cute. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. <laughs> Old guy in the background. Hotter! Hotter! You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. <laughs> oh. She's breathtaking. I'm not sure. She's a great teammate. Ah, just do this. Compliment her. Oh, you straight up said it. <laughs> Whoa, dude, way to be forward. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. <laughs> Aw. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> Fucking snake ratting us out. Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. I'm not taking it back, though. I'm totally gonna tell her. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely seems like the reason as to why we're gonna target a criminal this time. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Yeah, definitely. Just kind of like, let's try to get the public on our side a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like we should just be taking down people that we see as being wrong, not trying so much to appeal to the public. I felt like Yusuke was saying that before, but now he's like, no, yeah, we should just target somebody that'll make us look better. Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. <laughs> I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still... <laughs> Get it out, old man. Been watching him in the background the whole time. Hotter, hotter. How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> he seems like he's like possessed or something. I can't stop. I've been here for 20 years. I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Just completely ignoring us. Anyways, let's. Meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> Just gonna keep going. Oh, that's funny. Yes, you're here now, babe. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep? God dang it, no! Not you, Yusuke. <laughs> Not you, too. I made him join me. He's on my side now, Weibo. 
This is the real conflict. The real conflict of this game. Will you go to sleep or will you not go to sleep? Damn you, Morgana. Damn you. Who else? Who else will you get? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on the occasion, so it is luxurious in comparison. How could you, Morgana? How could you turn him against me? God, I'm fucking tired. Yusuke's tired too. Go to sleep. Do it. Just do it. I'm gonna protect my sleeping beauty no matter what it takes. What? <laughs> Wait. Okay, okay, he's talking about on. For a second I was like, I'm gonna protect sleeping with all costs. I'll convert everyone else. Turn them against you. You will sleep for the rest of your life, Weibo. It'll happen. But I'm still awake. And good luck. I'll do this one. Whoa. Wait, I'm not talking about you. Wait, don't eavesdrop. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Morgana. Before you know it, it's gonna be like... On and Ryuji. At like 4 p.m. Hey, we should go to sleep. <laughs> you wanna level up your confidant? Nah, man. I'm getting pretty sleepy. It's gonna fucking turn all of them against me. Even trainee news will turn against me. Start being like, in today's news, Weibo's fucking sleepy. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Everyone's against me. Uh, it's all because of you, fucking Kokichi cat. Morgana. Well. You need to worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Sleep. That seems so specific. Don't worry about breakfast tomorrow, but... I'll be fine with this fancy meal that you better prepare for me. Igor, the best girl. Finally. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. <laughs> I can't believe that one guy became friends with you after you totally dissed him on live TV. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. It does seem kind of like uh, odd, I guess. I mean, I guess we'll learn more about Akechi. Maybe he's like outcasted from the police department because he doesn't really seem, you know, like an outcast right now. It seems like everybody likes him. That's probably what it'll end up being though because it seemed like uh, the police or some of the police officers were uh, jealous of his abilities, so. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. You're too kind. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Oh, nice. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. You gonna rank up with me, baby? I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Yes, rank up! Super stock increases, yes! Oh my god, Igor, this is why I love you. All right. Why, you're the best girl. Rank 5! More experience from Arcana Burst. Super stock. Yes. It's almost time. Oh, that'll be so nice. Are the Phantom Thieves just? They're up to something. No, they piss me off. Ryuji, was that you? Akechi Kun is right. He's so dreamy. You're Sai San's oh. younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Kun? <laughs> You're damn right it is. You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, right. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. <laughs> huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. 
as the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. <laughs> I want to keep my fangirls, damn it. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. I don't know, you seem like you do enjoy the fame a little bit too there, buddy. Don't you think the same about yourself too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, damn. Damn, that's a little rude. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Oh, poor Makoto. I really do feel bad for her. She seems really sweet. Definitely waifu material. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. I might be a ladies' man, but I'm also kind of feeling you, too. You're so damn pretty. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Yeah, Yusuke, you go make some friends. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. It's nice to see them uh, interacting with Sojuro, even though I was a little worried that he was kind of, I don't know, gonna act perverted towards On or something. Hey, maybe it goes with my daughter theory, actually, now that I think about it. She reminds him of his daughter. <laughs> I'm way too obsessed with that theory. I'm sorry. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances. Not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Okay. Not not your daughter? <laughs> Give it up with that fucking theory. It's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all. It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor. Um... A former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. Maybe, I don't know. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. I didn't feel like Madarame really got a whole lot of redeeming qualities, you know? I felt like I could kind of understand, like... Kamashita didn't either, but I felt like I could kind of understand, like, why he did what he did a little bit better than Madarame. Madarame, I just fucking hated <laughs> at the end of it, honestly. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Oh, that's so nice. Aw, that's so sweet. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. Oh, that's so sweet. Aw. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. I like that. That's nice. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake! Time to go back to sleep. Damn you, Morgana. Damn you. Where's Yusuke? I'm hungry. He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You up? You're finally up. You know, it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. 
So he left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayuri, how nice of him. Don't sell it. <laughs> how nice of him. <laughs> it's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is it the mother, not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Aw, oh, yeah. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. I feel like it could uh, bring more customers, too, since it's such a famous painting. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Sounds like a plan. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. No, please stay with me. Give me that confidant rank up. Not in your life, bitch. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojuro. The painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Thanks. <laughs> we should have done that. Why Why didn't we do that, guys? Hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, guess that's best. Place is getting way too crowded. Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thief's name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. Oh, geez. This seems like another mementos thing, maybe. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. Post said he started spending a bunch of money lately, too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Or maybe it uh, is connected to the crime organization since, um... It's a crime organization! So, I guess they could be uh, in control of, like, the burglar groups. I'm assuming, yeah, it's like a Yakuza type of thing, maybe. Let's look into it. It's probably a false tip. What should we do? I guess I'm interested. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew we were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they talk at restaurants... Aha, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? Uh, what? Hmm. Uh, that seems dangerous. There's no way, who would go after a shop like this? <laughs> no offense. Except, offense. Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? The Blanc targeted. It seemed like a viable plan to me. Let's do it. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Well, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. <laughs> Oopsie. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, lots of IMs. Oh, it's Sunday, too. Mentos request? How are your studies? Checking up on Shiho. Okay, cool. Lots of confidant opportunities. Kind of curious, though, just to look at this. Takemi up and up. And then I'm um, trying to get me to go back to Mementos. Should I go to Mementos? I don't know if I get a uh, story blocked with those or not. Since they keep bringing it up, I'm starting to wonder if maybe, uh, yeah, like I have to do it at certain points or, um, or if I can just, you know, let them pile up continuously and then do like six in a row or like four in a row at least. Okay, let's go to the underground mall. Or actually, I think it's the walkway that it's at. Oopsie poopsie. Here we go. Before I forget. 
Welcome, would you like some fresh fruit juice? Hi. Yeah, let's do this. Nasty, <laughs> nasty a jury. I kind of feel like it's always nasty, but oopsie daisy, here we go. God, those are expensive too. Kind of wonder if I should go to Mementos just for the money. That's quite a color. I wouldn't not want to drink that. Nice jugging, that's how you do it. Jug, 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 jug. Guts up. Yes. All right. We both guts have improved. Okay, now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I've been playing for quite a while, so I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, end it for here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys are still enjoying this series. A lot of you guys have been asking about uh, waifus, <laughs> who I'm gonna be choosing. Honestly, at the moment, I kind of want to do the player route. I think that might be kind of an unpopular, <laughs> an unpopular choice, but mathematically, it makes more sense, guys. Why have one waifu when you can have ten? But yeah, I like uh, Makoto and On a lot so far. I was thinking I preferred On, but uh, this episode I feel like um, I was starting to really feel for uh, Makoto and like the position she's in, and I don't know. I feel like she could really use a husband though right now, and why not me? You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I think it might be kind of fun to do the player route, because then I get to have ten waifus until they all, <laughs> all get really pissed off at me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're still enjoying the series and I will see you real soon.